I confess, I ran into my dad at an S&M show. I want more to that. What was going on? Was he engaging in something? I confess, I love any sandwich where I get to be the meat. I confess, I warned the boys sitting in front of me that I kick and scratch, but I didn't warn them that I squirt. <laughs> Those confessions to me is a place where people can come and hear stories about sex and sexuality, this topic that everybody thinks about or does or wants to do, but nobody really, really wants to talk about. During the day, I make my living as a sex education teacher to sixth and seventh grade. Um, welcome, Miss Evan. Can a girl get pregnant if I put my pita in her ear? What? No. We are a small speck of blue in a big wash of red of Texas, and I think that what we do here is normalizing sexuality and making it a place for people to talk about things that they probably don't so much. Uh, when I turned 50, I um, had this great sexual awakening, and I did this with a lover named Nigel. I just have to say it. Fuck, I love abstract art. Mostly, I would be seen ripped, like headlocked by an overwhelming fear that ultimately drove all the sensations I was experiencing. The fear that I was going to lose my husband. Let's do it together. An orgasm. Multiple orgasms. And sure, good old missionary position. It's very different. Um, talking about sex and people's different fantasies. Very interesting, you know, some of it may be your thing and others. Maybe not. I confess, quote, cunt is a perfectly acceptable word. <laughs> End quote, my grandmother. <laughs> I confess, I'm 22 and just watched porn for the first time last week. Now, I think that's kind of amazing. I, I confess. I'm a lesbian, and gay male porn really gets me off. Get it, girl. I'm in full support of uh, anything that allows people to feel liberated sexually. And everybody's got a little something that they keep secret. So we provide an opportunity to normalize the conversation around sexuality.